What's going on guys? It's your boy CBS back with another Destiny video and in today's video I'm gonna give you a full recap of the Reef reveal Twitch stream from Bungie and to start off I'm gonna try and do this all kind of in a short and sweet so you guys don't have to watch the full hour long stream So with that being said to start off the first thing the soldier showed us was Petra now She is going to be the Queen's Wrath vendor now essentially if you have Dark Below She's gonna be the Eris Morn equivalent to what the House of Wolves has now so, and the big things that I noticed were you're going to be able to buy ships from her, shaders, weapons, things like that. The next thing they showed us was Varix the Loyal, and he is the House of Judgment vendor. Now, House of Judgment is the newest faction they're going to have, or this way, instead of New Monarch and Dead Orbit and Future War Cult, you're also going to have House of Judgment, and you're going to be able to buy uh, armor from them, ships from them, shaders from them, armor that goes up to light level 42, by the way. And you're also going to be able to, to upgrade your Prison of Elder gear here. And you're going to need things called Armor Cores and Weapon Cores. I'm going to cover all the Varix, the Loyal House of Judgment stuff in a separate video. So I'm just kind of condensing everything right now. The next thing they showed us was Brother Vance. Brother Vance is the Disciple of Osiris. And this is where you're going to go to gear up. Like, well, buy things that you need for the Trials of Osiris. You're going to be able to claim your Trials rewards. You're going to be able to buy supplies for the Trials of Osiris and things like that so and they said that trials of osiris is only going to be available on weekends they also showed berg 9940 the bounty tracker the bounty tracker is going to be the same in the tower and the reef and the bounty tracker is going to be a, you can go to the reef and still buy vanguard and crucible bounties but you won't be able to get to the vendors unless you go to the tower they also showed the vault in the reef the reef is the vault in the reef is going to be the exact same vault that you have in the tower just carried over to the reef so you can't have two separate vaults one on the reef one in the tower so that's a bummer but you know they can only do so much with so much amount of memory the postmaster will also be the same and they also are going to have a different crypt arc so we talked about that in my previous video them having another crypt arc asshole to screw us on drops so that has been confirmed the different crypt arc his name is going to be master ives they also said that the prison of elders the actual whatever end game activity is going to change weekly so what the the experience you have this week may be completely different the next week so i'm still interested to see how it's going to be it's only going to be you're only going to be able to do it once a week and if it is a horde mode of course it's going to be different because the you know the end result always going to be different they also talked about zer zer will be he didn't confirm whether zer will be in the tower or the wreath he said that zer is a mysterious creature and he can show up anywhere so whether that means he can be in both places at the same time i'm unsure so i guess we'll see they might actually see some new changes to the zur location videos that you see all over youtube now and then he also kind of surprised me i didn't know this was part of the stream but he also showed all the new changes to the tower which was even more changes to me than it was the reef because there's so many new things that you're gonna be able to do so to start off, the speaker. The speaker actually has meaning now. So the biggest thing that speakers going to be able to do is you're going to be able to exchange old materials or exchange materials, period. So if you have, you know, let's say 500 ascended energy that you don't need, you can go to the speaker and exchange it for glimmer or whatever it is that you need to exchange it for. He has exchange options. So that's fantastic for people that have did a lot of vault of glass and has a lot of ascendant energy that you do not need so that's great they also showed new faction gear and weapons brand new weapons they also showed a ton of new perks oh my gosh there's new perks for these weapons so the standard shot package range finder hammer forge setup you see in shotguns might not be the new best uh, that might not be the best setup anymore so there might you might actually see some new rolls and things like that along with the new rolls holy moly you're going to be able to reforge your House of Wolves weapons. Now, all your old weapons will stay the same, but any new weapons that you get from the House of Wolves come reforged ready. Well, when I say come, I mean the ones that you can get from the vendors, they come reforged ready. So you gotta go to the gunsmith in the tower and you can reforge your weapons with a mode of light and glimmer. So that's fantastic, but it also might be OP. We'll see what the new OP perks are now that they're adding a bunch of new perks but that's exciting news because i you know there's a lot of weapons that could be amazing if they had just one more perk or one more something that they you know they're missing so that's great you're kind of putting the the chances in our hand putting the 
the decision in our hands whether we want to keep the role they made or make our own. So that's really cool. Lord Shax is going to have, the Crucible Vendor is also going to have new gear. He's only going to have six new weapons, but he's all, like I said, there's going to be a lot of new perks, so these new weapons might be different. The auto rifles that they've been showing don't seem to be pea shooters anymore. They actually look like they have some decent impact on them, so that's exciting. And all legendary weapons, all legendary armor, and all exotic armor, things like that, exotic weapons from previous DLCs are all going to be able to be upgraded. So everything is going to be starting out on House of Wolves at light level 32, and you're going to need etheric light to upgrade it. And the only way you can get etheric light is going to be from Trials of Osiris, Nightfalls, Prison of Elder, things like that. So that's super exciting. If you have a uh, mythic class that you want to upgrade, you can upgrade that to the new light level cap. And it looks like the upgrade path is going to be a lot easier. So I'm excited about that. It's a lot less grinding. So a lot easier to level out a lot of things. Level up a lot of things. So the only big notes that I made were there's, they don't have any plans to put player trading in the future. So that's, in my opinion, good because player trading will ruin this game. So I'm going to make some separate videos covering the other stuff that I really want to cover. So if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do. As always, be safe. I hope you guys are excited. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.